Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Alrighty, we are fighting Rico apparently. He seems really pissed off at us. Ow. As you can see, he's got a quite a bit of HP, he's got two full bars, so this will take a little while. But it's really not all that difficult, to be honest. Oh yeah, pretty much standard boss deck, you know how it works. High number of attack cards, double cure cards, and a potion. Then pretty much just keep wailing on him. And then he reload. Yeah, let's basically go for him, he's, try he's trying to reload. Almost. One more combo to play. Nice. Take that, Riku. And we leveled up. Awesome. And we get an arrow card. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's get a new slate. Tornado. Blow away enemies in a wide area, inflicting damage and stunning them. Arrow, gravity, and any summon card. Mm, okay. There you go. made that joke like a couple times already. I'm not gonna make it again. But yeah, we're on a boat. I'm just, that's, just gonna leave it at that. Oh, what the hell? It's Navi from Zelda. Hey, listen! No, I'm not gonna listen to you. No. You're annoying as hell. Oh, it's trying to help us. I guess. Alrighty. Oh. Get the 
response first. And then there are, I believe, a, I think this is just one new Heartless here. Um, the Air Pir Pirates. I think you found these before, but I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure this is the first time you fight them. Dark Balls, we fought this before back in Atlanta, though. So, nothing new there, just a little more HP and a little more experience points. Nothing too much. I do plan on showing off a couple battles. Just hopefully I can show just at least one more to show all the new enemy this year. There's no big trouble there. The premium room. It's a new map card. Let's take a look at that. Room where victory often leads to premium bonuses. No, if you use premium cards in your deck, then I'd say go ahead and use that. I really don't. So. Yeah, those chests in these barrels are pretty much the... Oh no, there's a... There are only a couple of the uh, treasure spots in this world. There's a few more around here. Shadows, blah, 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 blah. Sendos, found these before. I just want to find the new part of this one. There we go. It's pirates. These guys can be really annoying. They have an attack that if it hits you, it'll stun you for a really... For not, not a really long time, but a rather long time. Uh, it, it's really annoying. Don't keep using it right before, right before you try to recover. So, yeah, just kill him as fast as possible. And then there's nothing really new there. A lot of experience points, though. Uh, pretty sure that's all the new partners around here. Uh, let's see. Let me also make a move over. And of course, as with pretty much every world we've been to so far, there is a new attack card we can get here. Let's see, these boxes are another treasure spot too. Just jump on them. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I didn't look at the map yet. Let's take a look. Let's see, story room down here, up here, and up here. Okay. They mean to attack you, Mr. Google. Card pack. Uh, nothing really all that useful. Now, while we're here, we can buy some new cards. Zero Olympia, that'll be, that'll be very helpful later. Zero Pumpkin, yeah, that'll also be useful. Here we go, here's a new one, the Fairy Harp. This is probably one of the better Keyblades at this point in the game. It has really good attack power, pretty much the strongest, well, second strongest right now. This is a little bit behind the line, Harp. Very, very fast, good carbon recovery. So I would definitely want to try to stock up on some of those. I highly recommend you get some, some of those too. So very, very helpful. Um, let's head right. And let's see. Yeah, I'll make Team in Darkness. And yeah, I'll clear all the Heartless in between episodes. Do you guys mind when I do that? I mean, I'm, I've been, been thinking about that lately. I'm not really showing you guys a lot of stuff. So I'm hoping that's okay with you guys. If not, then let me know. I don't really feel like fighting, but I'll just fight these guys off real quick. Well, actually, I'm, last time I checked, I'm actually really close to leveling up, so actually, I will go ahead and fight today. Oh, god. Five pirates. At least they're really stupid and just plumb up together so I can hit multiple of them as well. Nice. Oh, nice, a pirate enemy card. And we'll get some HP. Definitely need an HP boost. Alright, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to show off the um, arrow card. Now, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Blow away nearby enemies and inflict damage. Oh, we also show off the uh, pirate enemy card, too. Uh, let me see. Where is it? Oh, there's, yeah, I actually got some new enemy cards between episodes, also. Search Ghost. Over any HP when starting with attack cards. That can be very, very useful, actually. Gargoyle become invisible and reduce your chances of being hit. I don't really use that one too often. Change the values of all cards to zero. That can have some strategic uses, but I'm not really going to bother with that. And that's really about it. I have a lot of enemy cards already. A lot of bosses, a lot of normal heartless, too. Wow. Alrighty. Alright, here's the first door. Okay, this is the second one. 
running a little short on time, so actually I'm going to stop the video right here. Alright then guys, next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, we will head off to the first Doi Room and witness the first Doi event. This has been iHeartMovie signing off, guys. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.